Hi, I'm Ray, G4NSJ, and I want to show you in this video my the little Morse key here. I'll show you some close-ups in a minute. This uh, I've restored this. It was rusty, it was seized up, it was dreadful, so I've stripped it all down, rebuilt it, put it on a wooden base. That, I think, is 1935. This, I think, is 1900, 1910. It's a sounder relaying type a there you go you see you know what it is now what it is i'll show you now let me turn this on i'll show you what happens i've got 12 volts to operate it, it look okay basically this operates the solenoids brings the armature down which makes contacts there contacts what it means by a relaying sounder i've worked out this takes 26 milliamps okay that's what it draws very low current 26 milliamps the reason they have the, the relaying sounder as they call it it's like in the army and that they call things like a, a bag carrying for the use of why not say a bag for carrying stuff you know bag carrying for the use of so this is a a sounder relaying basically you can operate from this the larger sounder or a paper tape you know where they have the paper tape and the the morse code is written out on the tape as it goes along now the resistance the voltage drop over this little bit of wire is negligible obviously but with the telegraph wires you might have miles of telegraph wires so you it's quite a resistance right so the lower the current you're passing through them the lower the voltage drop will be where you won't get so much voltage drop so 26 milliamps is quite good you start putting a couple of amps through the, the you know, few miles of wire and you'll get quite a, a, a voltage drop so then at this at the receiving end here this can then operate a bigger more current eating uh, device such as the paper readout that's what it's all about i got this from ebay it's nice isn't it someone had cut all the wires off inside I, I think they'd obviously tried to get it going and couldn't but uh, I have okay first of all I shall show you the Morse key in use just a quick video clip That was exciting, wasn't it? That <laughs> was boring. Now I'm going to show you the, the good bit, the works. Show you this operating. I rather like this. I forget what I paid for it. Have a look at the next video clip. Now, as I said, this will operate the, the paper reel machine, okay, that reels out a, a load of paper. I'll show you, I'm going to show you very primitively how that works on a, a bit of paper like this. Um, I don't have a proper machine. They're probably hundreds of pounds if you can find one, because it's a really nice big piece of kit. But I, here's a quick demo of how the machine works. Right, this is going to be a little bit awkward, but the paper readout would work something like this. This pen works with the, the sounder, okay? It works with the solenoids. So what it would do, the paper moves all the time like that. If you're receiving the letter B, it would go click, 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 click. You see that? The letter C would be click, 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 click. <laughs> okay, that's how it works. This paper moves. So V would be... This would move with the sounder. V would be... Du, 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 du. <laughs> I'm drawing that very well if I look. Click, 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 click as it moves. So that, that, <laughs> that gives you an idea anyway. So what the operator would do at the receiving end, he'd get his strip of paper tape. You know, a bit like film on a spool. It would just come out like that. He would get his paper and he'd read it. So he'd say, right, they've written, they've sent me the message, V, V, B, C. But what happened was, 
while this was coming through like that, a CQ, the operator could he could hear that, and they started writing it down rather than waiting for the paper tape to come out. They're writing down, for example, as V, V, then what was it, B, C, C. They're just writing it down from the clicks. So they didn't rely so on the paper tape. I suppose the paper tape that was uh, printed was a, you know, a permanent record like that. I don't know whether it was like a pen, as I, <laughs> as I did on there, or whether it punched holes in it. Did it punch holes? I don't know. But uh, that's the sort of principle anyway. I've just made a bit of a close-up of this. Oh, I'll show you in a sec. There are the contacts there, in there, that are made. Okay, when this is energised, that goes down. Contacts made there. And there are two wires which you then bring out. And you can work you know, via a battery or whatever. You can work a larger thing, as I said. Anyway, I'll bore you again with... Uh, can you read this? Or see if you can read it from the clicks. Fantastic. Imagine being a, a telephone, not a telephone, a telegraph, telegraphy type engineer back in the 1800s, you know, working on this stuff, designing this stuff and installing it. Must have been fantastic. I'm sure this is 1900. It may go back to the 1800s. I don't know. But of course, before they had actual voice telephone, this was all they had over the telegraph wires. When they went to radio later on, then obviously they're not sending clicks. They were sending, it was CW, continuous wave it was called. So you'd, you'd just send, um, the radio would send a carrier, right? carrier on, off, on, off, like that. So you, B would be, duh, 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 the carrier would go on, 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 on. <laughs> if you see, you know what I mean. So yes, and uh, and then we ended up with, here we are, where's my Morse thing here, look. There we are. So that's, yes, and of course Morse now, unfortunately, uh, the shipping, no one uses it anymore, not commercially as far as I know, but um, amateur radio, ham, ham radio. We use it, I use it, I've got, a, I've got several keys, I've got that one. I've also got, uh, well, they're all over there connected, but I've got, I use a, a double paddle key, you know. You press one side and it's da 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 da, -da and you press the other side, da 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 da. So it's all sort of automatic. Saves all this. We, no, no, that's not how you send it. You're supposed to have your, you're supposed to send it like that. Hold it like that. There we are. There's someone on the radio now. They're not using more, so they're having a chat. That's a repeater. Anyway, I think that's it. Hope you've enjoyed it all. I'd love a paper tape machine. I wouldn't mind getting that to go with my uh, ever-increasing collection of Morse bits and pieces, Morse memorabilia. There we are. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye for now.